Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about Jose Smiley Sayens, who is from the Cuatro Flats gang. Sayens was born in Los Angeles to a Maravilla gang member, Mexican father, and a Mexican mother who had substance abuse problems. An only child, he lived most of his childhood with his grandmother in a small backyard bungalow on Ferris Avenue. He spent much of his time with his cousins at the Pico Aliso housing projects. Sayings attended high school in Los Angeles Unified School District, but dropped out. The year 1998 would be a chapter of Jose's life that was unforgettable. Sayings and fellow Cuatro Flats gang member Juan Pena shot two rival gangsters at point blank range in revenge for beating his friend Juan Pena. Sayings shot and killed the unarmed men Jose Hernandez and Leonardo Ponce execution style in front of 210 North Clarence Street in the Aliso Village area of Boyle Heights in Los Angeles on July 25th, 1998. Ponce was shot in the chest, thigh, and back, and Hernandez was shot three times in the head. The motive behind the murders is thought to have been retaliation for the assault of Pena by members of the same gang a week earlier. Saints, who was on parole at the time of the shooting, fled from the scene and hid in the apartment of Sagrida Hernandez, his former girlfriend and the mother of his two-year-old daughter. Shortly after, Juan Pena was arrested for the Clarence Street murders after a tipster placed him at the scene with Saints. Pena, who was 14 years old at the time, was later convicted of two murders. Despite the fact he was not the shooter, possibly because of his fatal illness, he unexpectedly gave a detailed confession of the murders to authorities. He died of childhood leukemia at the California Youth Authority in 2001. On August 5th, 1998, Hernandez was kidnapped by Saints and his accomplices and taken to Saints' grandmother's house in an unincorporated area of East Los Angeles. There, Saints told his grandmother to leave her home. She later claimed that she complied because Saints said he and Hernandez were trying to reconcile. Eleven days later, believed he violated, then killed his estranged girlfriend, the mother of his two-year-old daughter, out of fear she would turn him into authorities. He left her lifeless body splayed out in a bedroom at his grandmother's house. In 1998, Saints was charged with three counts of murder, one count of kidnapping, and one count of sexual assault, and a warrant was secured for his arrest. Los Angeles City Council had offered a reward of $75,000 for information leading to the capture and conviction of the persons responsible for those crimes despite the arrest warrant and reward. There were no other suspects or conclusive leads of Sane's whereabouts until a decade later. In August 2008, two members of the Lot Stoner gang were stopped by a Missouri State Trooper while driving a rental vehicle. A search turned up $610,000 in cash in a hidden compartment wrapped and marked with the name Toro, which is now alleged to be one of Sane's aliases. The money was confiscated by the police. One of the gang members was a 38-year-old drug trafficker Oscar Torres, a friend of Saints. On October 5, 2008, Anthony Lehman had agreed as a favor to Torres to drive four men in his Hummer limousine that night, picking up the first three and taking them to Elephant Bar Restaurant in suburban Lakewood, where they picked up Saints. Later, he ordered Lamine to drive to Montebello, then at 5 a.m., ordered him to drive to the limo owner's home in Whittier. Saints was filmed on a home surveillance system arriving at Torres' house, chasing him out of his front door and then shooting Torres four times in the head, possibly due to lost money. The DVD disc that had captured the shooting was removed from the surveillance system. However, shortly after the investigation of the homicide, video of the murder was retrieved from the security equipment's hard drive, leading investigators to identify Saints as the shooter. Inside the home where Torres was murdered, Detectives found Lamine, who had been shot in the back, but survived. Forty handguns and assault rifles and a short rifle were found inside Torres' home. A month later, Sane's cousin, Johnny Prada, was arrested for murder and attempted murder. It was sentenced to imprisonment for 26 years in November 2009. In 2008, after several years in Mexico, Sane surfaced in Southern California again, where he was captured on camera, shooting Oscar Torres at his home in Whittier's Pelissier Village, Equestrian District. Authorities believe Saints murdered Torres over the drug debt. 
Sainz was also previously sought a connection to the death of Boger Bello, a member of an East Los Angeles gang called The Lot, who was found dead with a bag over his head in his car in a Los Angeles suburb. On November 22nd, 2012, he was found and arrested in Guadalajara, Mexico by the federal police while working for a Mexican drug cartel. After his arrest, Mexico extradited him to the United States. Sainz managed to elude authorities for over 14 years. Investigators revealed that after initially fleeing to Mexico, he continued to stay on the move, using as many as 20 aliases and moving throughout Mexico, Central America, the United States, and Canada. Upon being deported, Sainz bragged about his time on the run and claimed to authorities that he had attended Los Angeles Lakers basketball games while on the run. Jose was convicted in all counts and is currently awaiting sentencing.